speed. Camera set and action. Hi, I'm Jennifer Hatcher. Welcome to Arlington Independent Media. We have been serving the Arlington community for over 27 years. AIM is in the community producing programming about what's happening in Arlington. High school sports really represent uh, the community in a way that, that, that nothing else really can. Two is up. There's a void on television for high school sports. So now we have an opportunity for in this community to see the games that the kids who live here are playing in. Uh, that, that keeps me motivated to do it. You just get right in there with the action, you kind of spin around the teams, you follow the players onto the court, you kind of go between the lines of cheerleaders and players. I mean, it just gets the viewer right in the middle of the action. And I, I think the, the Arlington community supports its high school sports, and the media, specifically Arlington Independent Media, is there to support it too. I got Comcast and go to 69, out of nowhere I just see me playing, it's kind of weird. And then I hear announcers talking, I'm like, what the heck is happening here? Arlington Independent Media wants to be a place where Organizations from all different sectors can come together and have a conversation about what is happening in our community. So last year we hosted a gathering of leaders from different organizations that included business, that included education, and I think that it was just a great takeaway for the community to be able to hear what these leaders had envisioned for Arlington, and not only just envisioned on some like grand scale in the clouds, but to also be able to give practical information about what they plan to do for Arlington County. To make sure that, that we are attracting the businesses that will grow the jobs, that will allow people to have the employment so that they'll be able to meet the needs uh, of their families. I worked with four other uh, high school students over the summer and we started off learning what documentaries were basically. Well, when you look at Arlington, um, I think the landscape, you find that a lot of folks who live within the county earn some of the highest wages. So to think that there are actually homeless folks in Arlington. A big thing that I learned over Document Arlington was how to write something that was quick to the point. So that really helped when it came to the college applications, writing the essays. Uh, when I needed to get my whole life story in 500 words or less, I'd already had the practice because I'd had to take all this information about homelessness and condense it down so that it was just a narrative that made the documentary flow. In Arlington County, no family is, is uh, allowed to, to be on the street. While I'd had uh, interests in the past, it gave me experience and even though a year and a half ago I would have said, oh, I'd love to try that. Uh, I hadn't had the experience. I'd been in TV studio, I'd done some work with cameras, but through the experience I learned that I really love it, and this is what I want to do with my life. Um, right now I'm actually wearing uh, my Arlington Independent Media uh, Volunteer of the Year Award uh, letter jacket, letterman's jacket, and uh, I wear this with a lot of pride. I think that uh, a lot of people here at AIM put in a lot of hard hours volunteering on projects mean a lot to them. And uh, this jacket, when I put it on, it reminds me that um, we're here to not only serve the community, um, but to develop our own skills. We hope to train our members on all the latest forms of media production. Video, audio, photography, animation. Everything from the most basic, uh, this is a camera, and here's what you do with it, to advanced uh, producing and directing. We offer field production, we offer uh, studio production, and I'm sitting right now where we teach Final Cut Pro, um, and we offer them at prices that are extremely reasonable for people because our goal is to help you get your voice heard. Fantastic training for new media purposes. I mean, you just don't get any other places which will go ahead and teach you, you know, the the basics and the advanced um, steps of Final Cut. I was slow in the editing bay, but still I was eventually willing to volunteer as I gain knowledge there as well as volunteering to be behind camera 
and slowly just learning bits and bits and bits that now I feel more comfortable touching machines that I never thought in my life I'd ever work with. You get to have the computer in front of you, you get to play with it, but then you also have someone there, an instructor who is really concerned about helping you elevate your level of knowledge, starting wherever you are and then helping get you to the next point. We learn how to work with one another. We learn how to talk to each other. We learn how to critique each other gently. And we learn uh, just basically more about the people that are around us that otherwise passing in the street, I may not have ever known them. We have trained thousands of members in video production skills, and they have gone on to produce countless hours of award-winning local and original programming. That makes us all very proud that we're actually empowering people to take the very excellent ideas that they have in their head and being uh, able to express them using the very challenging medium of television. What's going on in the classroom, inside of your classrooms, as far as what kids are talking about the election? What, what are they talking about? Well, um, they're talking about like um, mostly the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Welcome back to Perspectives of Interfaith. My name is Zarina Shakir, and let me reintroduce my I've seen news programs, talk shows, and I've also seen telepathic TV. I mean, you have such a broad range that whatever someone can imagine, they can bring here and create it. OAR stands for Offender Aid and Restoration. We are a community-based organization that began way back in 1974. Our Offender Aid and Restoration came to Arlington Independent Media because one of the things that we've always seen is how important getting your message out there to the community is. So we decided that one of the ways that we could do that to do advocacy as well as recruitment of volunteers and community members was to actually get a show on television. We have now visuals that we can use in presentations. We have all of our programs on our website. Um, and that's just terribly valuable in today's world. A substantial value for OAR, actually. So much so that we're thinking about doing something with syndication in the future so that we can actually have this roll out in the entire United States. So that's pretty exciting. Welcome to Whistle Where You Work, where we'll be talking today with legal and psychological experts about the employer practice of I'm the communications director of a national nonprofit, so it's very important to understand the media as it's currently structured. We deal with whistleblowers specifically. We have had cases where the whistleblowers will have a very important discovery or an expose to get out to the masses, but we have had reporters and editors admit to us that they were uh, a little leery of doing a story because it was in direct um, it would directly counter the notions of what their advertisers are, are trying to do. The program that we've shot at AIM has been um, remarkably successful. We have secured spots on a regular rotation with Free Speech TV, which airs nationally on a satellite network. Um, and we've also gone ahead and done a kind of grassroots um, expansion where we specifically are targeting the program to uh, community and public access stations across the country. So it's vitally important for these independent um, access stations to go ahead and offer these sort of tools. Being at AIM is pretty fun to see the, the fruits of your labor in terms of, you know, you, you put a lot of energy into booking things and getting it all together and then you have this, you know, this program which hasn't been you know, done before, and you archive it and it's, it's yours. Once it's all done, it's, you reap the benefits. When people come here, they're actually interacting with their own 
physical geographic location, their own community, the place where they live, that's where they're uh, producing their message. Those are the people that they're talking to, and it does. It creates a real strong sense of community. Even though you are an outsider coming into AIM initially, it becomes very clear very quickly that the people who you know, are involved with AIM, the staff and the volunteers, are very dedicated to um, giving organizations and other people these sort of tools. There's a lively community here of people that, that want to create programming. There's a lively community that want to get out and report what's going on here in Arlington. We have people who have been in this field for years who want to come back and they just want to have the opportunity to work with other people who are just fired up about being creative. Community members seek Arlington Independent Media for a variety of reasons. AIM is so many different things to so many different people. To, to work with talented filmmakers, um, and cinematographers and to sort of get all this first-hand experience um, with people that are pushing media in new directions. It's, um, it's like a brotherhood, a sisterhood of its all, all in its own. I'm just really, really surprised at just how deep this community was and the connections it has. Everybody is, is geared to help you and it's just a, it's, it's really a wonderful volunteer kind of organization. It's a, it is a community. It defines community. At Arlington Independent Media we say what we do is we bring independent voices together to build community.